Hello, this is Chris from Practical Navigator, and in this video series, I'd like to solve all of the navigation problems on the 200 ton um, oceans exam. So these are gonna be sort of celestial navigation problems, but also the kind of things that you would see on a 200 ton exam. So this is not an introductory course into any of these topics. I'm strictly gonna solve the problems and then um, talk about uh, only the concepts that are in there if necessary. So the first thing I'd like to do as part of this introduction is just look at the test itself. And again, this is for uh, the 200 ton oceans level. So these are fairly complicated problems, um, but would be your first entry into the oceans world. Uh, the first question, there's 10 of them on the exam. The first question is uh, kind of a trivia question and you'll find there's a couple of these on the exam. The second question here, is a site reduction running fix problem. And so they give you three sun lines that we'll need to reduce and then do a running fix for to determine our latitude and longitude. The third problem on the exam is a zone time of sunset problem. And we're on a moving ship and we're moving fairly quickly. So we're gonna have to use some um, of the sailings in order to determine our sunset time. Uh, question four is kind of another trivia question regarding choosing objects to, to use celestially. Uh, question five is a, uh, another problem involving time of phenomenon on a moving ship. So we'll be calculating the zone time of local apparent noon. Uh, problem six is a great circle sailings problem where we're gonna determine the longitude of the vertex. So we'll use some um, trigonometry for that. Problem seven is a fuel consumption problem, and that may seem odd on an oceans exam, but it's how the Coast Guard uh, puts these in their testing kind of database. So we'll solve a fuel consumption problem. Problem eight is a, another uh, great circle sailings problem. So we'll be doing some Mercator sailing. Moving right along. Problem number nine is a local apparent noon sighting. So they're gonna give us a position and a moving ship, and then we are gonna observe local apparent noon and get our latitude from that. And then finally, problem number 10 is uh, very similar to number nine, but instead of using the sun, we'll use the star Polaris. So again, this is the uh, sample exam that the US Coast Guard National Maritime Center provides uh, for the 200 ton oceans level. And in the following videos, we'll go ahead and solve all of those um, problems on there. So the last thing I wanted to do in this intro video is just show you some of the resources that are available to you. And so for this exam, And so for this exam, there's a few key resources. The first is going to be um, Bowditch Volume 2. This is what is found in the test room. It's the old version of Pub 9. And um, it has all the formulas and stuff inside of it, but, um, and the tables, but it does not have the glossary. So there's that. The next thing we'll use is the 1981 Nautical Almanac. So this will be used for any celestial sites. This, this is just a different version than you may have seen a printout of the Nautical Almanac. Uh, we're gonna need to use the site reduction tables for marine navigation. So commonly referred to as HO229. And then we'll also be using uh, plotting gear and um, universal plotting sheets to do our plotting on there. And then finally, um, I'm just going to use often uh, a more modern version of Bowditch just because the tables are easier to see in the video. But uh, the old version of Bowditch is what you'll have in the test room. Okay, so if you're interested in learning how to solve these problems, go ahead and uh, follow along in the video series and uh, we'll get started on these 10 problems.